Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us dive into the Word. Today's reflection will be based on the first reading taken from the first letter of Saint Peter, chapter one, verse ten to sixteen. All Christians, simply because we are Christians, have a duty to love. God above all things. We are familiar with the verse, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength." But this simple, clear idea, which is the first commandment, and sums up. God's law, to love God and neighbor as yourself, has lost its force. Today, it has little impact on the lives of many disciples of Christ. A life of holiness. Seems to be possible only for priests or those who are who join religious orders as nuns or brothers. Now, in verse fourteen, Saint Peter instructs, like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires. That you formerly had in ignorance, instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. Allow me to emphasize the words: be holy yourselves in all your conduct. Now, I am. A son, a husband, a father to two daughters. I also run a business providing technical support for life events. To answer God's call to holiness means to allow God's living presence into every dimension of my life. In the words of the psalmist today, we have to sing a new song to the Lord. Land begins tomorrow, and it gives us the perfect opportunity to examine ourselves with greater depth and fervor through prayer. Fasting, and alms giving. To seek for that grace, for that courage. To live a life as we are called today. To be holy. Let us turn to our dear mother. To accompany us. In this. Journey in this process of discovering our lives in the image of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Have a blessed day. God bless.